In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best base defenses in the game. Gives you a great base rush as well as enables you to stop a lot of things that your opponent might do uh, from the offensive perspective. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. It's free to subscribe. It just keeps you updated with the latest tips and strategies that we release here on the YouTube channel. Try to do videos every day to help people become better Madden players. Today, we're talking about the nickel over the two best defensive playbooks in the game. Unless you want to run um, a specific formation, is 4-6 in Kansas City primarily because they have a lot of versatility. They have big nickel, they have nickel over, they have dime normal, they have dollar three two, um, they have four three even six one and so forth. So we're gonna be showing you something out of nickel over. I think nickel over is the most balanced um, defense in the game. I do think that this defense has so much power within it that it allows some basic things that we're going to show you in this video um, to be more effective. If you want to get my entire nickel over defensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. My Patreon is only ten dollars uh, to sign up. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link to sign up is in the description below. All right, so like I said, we're going to be talking in this video about a great base defense. It's not just for a bunch, but we're going to show it against the bunch formation. But you can do this against anything. Um, it's a pick up and play defense that I really like. It's base defense, match defense. And we're going to show you um, how to make it really good. So EA patched the quarter flats that you find in cover four quarters. They made them significantly more effective than they were at the beginning of the year. To me, this is a match year. Um, it's a year where match is actually really powerful. It's also about a year where man's really powerful. And therefore, manning up players out of match is really good. So when we're defending a bunch formation, basically what we want to do is we're going to pinch our defense. We are going to user this safety over the center. Now, if here's the here's the rule. This middle linebacker that's in a three-red hook, you can put him in, in man coverage on anybody that you want if you're facing a trips formation. However, if you are facing a doubles formation, so something where there's two deep threats on one side, then you need to man him up on the opposite side player so like this okay um so you see here if they have a two by two by two set this is what the player would look like we're going to bluff blitz our defensive tackle on the right side of the screen we pinched we pinched our defense we brought this guy down over the middle and blitzed him and then we took that three rag hook that linebacker who's a middle linebacker and again we can man him up on anybody on the field so we're going to man him up on julio jones that way we, we now have really good rules in case anyone goes vertical i find this is the most adaptable coverage in the game and so you're going to see here's what the defense looks like. And you see right off rip exactly why I really love this defense. Because this is the only defense in the game where from a base rush, this is very consistent. Like this is very consistent. We're only sending three. And you see how just for whatever reason, nickel over just screams. They blocked a running back, by the way. They blocked a running back. Um, and you see how good this is. I mean, it's just incredible, incredible defense. So again, pinch your defense. Now let's say I'm playing a bunch formation. So something that looks like this. Now, I don't have to worry about a receiver going on the left side that's going to go vertical, but I do have to worry about the number three receiver. So I'm going to man him up onto the tight end, and then we're going to play defense like this. Now, why is this good? Because if they run a corner route to the right side, our match defense works well. Look at the screamers that we're getting off of the edge. Now, the most important rating for your defensive ends, I'm going to show you in just a second. Again, we see how we're getting this double edge pressure, and they're blocking people, right? I think that's how we actually put the running back out on a route. But you see how good this is? I mean, this is incredible. They're forced to have to block a running back from a base rush perspective. It's why nickel over is so powerful, in my personal opinion. There's also multiple ways to run it. We could get similar pressure. We won't. It won't. It won't always be perfect, but we can get similar pressure if we sit like this, okay? And now we have two high safeties. Now let me jump into um, let me jump into coaching menu here. I want to show you something about my depth chart. So if you just take a look here at these ratings for the Buccaneers, the two players that are coming free for us, the first one's Devin White. He's got 90, over 90 acceleration and over 90 speed. The second one is Shaq Barrett. Notice his ratings, 83 speed, 85 acceleration. So what rating do you think is really important? Over 85 acceleration. If you have over 85 acceleration, it makes what I just showed you significantly more valuable. It's also significantly better when you have a front like this because there's more blitz threats. So you see here, boom, and you see again, we're coming in consistently. We're coming in free almost every single time. And the beauty of this is we're only sending three. We're bluff blitzing the defensive end on the on the linebacker side 
So you see here, and then if we wanted to cross man, let's say they're running, you know, a formation, maybe they're giving us some trouble with the with the middle receiver. We can easily just man the middle receiver up as well. So now let's say they run verticals and they want to try to throw this crosser. That time the blitz didn't come in perfectly, but you see the cross man on the crosser was really good. So you can use this, um, I think, really effectively. Now, another cool piece of this is we can also um, manually back certain players off if we want to. So we could do something like this and kind of get at the same concept. Let's say we want to really bag that slot receiver. We can purple both our linebackers. You see how easy it is to adjust out of this formation. And then you'll see here, you know, we want to do something like this. And again, you see how good the pressure is and the match coverage is absolutely unbelievable. So nickel over, not only does it allow you to create a drop eight or drop nine coverage, drop eight is really typically the best this year. Um, you don't really want to be dropping nine in coverage this year from what I've seen so far. Uh, I haven't found an effective way just yet to do that. But let's say, for example, let's do something like this. This is a really good adjustment. So let's say they're going to run a skinny post to Mike Evans, uh, but we're trying to handle the C route that a lot of people like to run. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go ahead and put that guy on the left into a deep third, and then we're going to man that linebacker up on that receiver. So you see it looks something like this. And then on the right side, you know, we can kind of safe play some safe match coverage with a deep half. So you see here's what the play art looks like. Normally this post would kill this coverage, but as you can see, that's a middle linebacker, by the way, covering one of the best receivers in the game. So really, really good. If you want to get my full defensive ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. Thanks for watching the video. Ten bucks gets you access to everything. We'll see you guys next time.